This is Friday Night Evolution, and welcome as we continue to crown our first ever Women's Tag Team Champions. Bailey, who is definitely tired of having to deal with Ruby Riot and the Riot Squad, finally has an ally. Finally has someone that will help her back her up. But we gotta wonder what Bailey's out here to say. It's just, it's perplexing to me how Ruby Riot continues to think that I. That I cost her her NXT Women's Championship. I didn't get involved in that matchup between you and Asuka. You just couldn't beat Asuka. And that's the facts. But see, you just want somebody to blame, Ruby. And that's fine. If you want to blame me, go ahead. You lost. But there's one thing I'm not going to put up with. And that's you and your little team coming out, bath mouthing me, trying to attack me, trying to get the better of me. I'm not going to allow that. And now I have my backup in Ember Moon. And we're going to go to war with you guys because tomorrow night. Actually, no, no, not tomorrow night. Not on main event. No, no, no. Let's do it bigger. And over the limit, the SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view, we challenge you guys to a match. So come on, Ruby. Come on out and accept it. Where's Ruby at? Where's Ruby Riot at? Wow, Bailey, you you gave me so well. You got you gave me everything I want, and now I want to challenge you to a match. Yes, that's exactly what the Riot Squad wants. See, well, there's a little truth in that. A little truth in that. We did want a match against you, but it seems like you had to run along and get a little partner, huh? Because in what world is a one-on-three match? Logical and what mat what world does that make you better than me? See, and a one of three doesn't benefit me, but a two on three would definitely give me and Ember Moon the chance to run the Riot Squad back to NXT. You you still don't get it, Bailey. See, here it is. I wasn't given the opportunities you were given. See, you were one of the four horsewomen, so you definitely are one of the four cherished women here in WWE. Me, I had to go and form my squad to get me where I'm at now. Where's that? Losing? Losing matches? Losing matches and blaming other people for that? That's where you're at now? See, that's a pretty sad place to be, Ruby. You can say, I've gotten my chances because of my friends. But we all worked our asses off to launch this revolution and run this division. Is, is that right? Is that right? See, Bailey, I think you're actually the loser of your group of friends. Because if you look at Sasha and Charlotte, they're competing for their Raw Women's Championship. Becky, she's a SmackDown Live Women's Champion. You are on NXT still screwing up my legacy. I should have held the NXT Championship once in my legacy. See, you want to talk about that. You want to talk about the past. Keep holding on to the past because the future I see is me and Ember Moon defeating the Riot Squad and beating you guys up and shutting you up and I can't wait to see what kind of excuses you're going to make after we beat you at Over the Limit. So
So a two on three is what you want, huh? A two on three against the riot squad. No, no. See, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to give you a two on two. But you're not going to get me in that match. You're going to get Liv and Sarah. Because they're chopping at the bits. They want to show what they can do. And they're a little upset that they aren't giving their fair shake. Fair shake? What do you what do you mean fair shake? So you guys had a chance last week to defeat Natalia and Beth Phoenix and you guys came up short. And yet again you're going to blame somebody else. Ruby, that's all you do. All you do is blame, 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 blame. Take a look in the mirror and see that you guys are, are, are to blame. Fair shake. You know, last week they didn't even know who Natalia's partner was. Natalia had all the all week to understand the Riot Squad and see what we were all about. But we really knew about Natalia, but we didn't know much about Beth Phoenix. That was a blind spot, and we are still petitioning for that to be a null, that loss. So we're going to see the Riot Squad against Bailey and Ember Moon. It's going to be Liv Morgan and Sarah. Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan against Bailey and Ember Moon. Ruby Riot will be at ringside to watch our girls take on that team. We'll see what happens at Over the Limit pre-show. And up next, Dakota Kai, the NXT star, the NXT UK star, teaming up alongside Kansas. LeRae to try to advance in this women's tag team championship tournament trying to get to crown the first women's tag team champions And Kansas Loray. And her Are her and Dakota Kai ready to do this? They're about to take on a pretty tough team. So Kansas Loray, who had a confrontation with Shayna Baszler this oh, this past Wednesday on NXT. And they're gonna meet real quick. That's that was a quick turnaround for them. They're gonna get in there, they're gonna wanna punch the lights out of each other. Both ladies are trying to get in the NXT Women's Championship picture.
And there we go. It's tag team action. Shayna Baszler teamed up with her friends. Jasmine Duke and when Marina Schaefer on the outside. Shayna Baszler saying, I want Kansas LeRae. Give me Kansas. And this is what Kansas is talking about. Say, hey, you guys all just got here because of Ronda. And now Shayna wants to prove that that's not why. And we'll see if that truly is. And now Kansas LeRae has got the better right now of Shayna Baszler. Look at this. Maybe Kansas is right. Maybe Shayna Baszler is just here because of Ronda. And Kansas is like, hey. Like, hey, I'm right here. And Shayna Baszler like, okay. Okay. Shayna and Kansas again squaring up here doing the dance. Back to the lock horns again. Now Shayna Baszler turns this around real quick. And Kansas now turns this on to Shayna. And now Shayna's got to figure out where she's at because Kansas LeRae with the takedown again. And Kansas is telling her, hey, I can do this all day. I can go all day in a big kick right there. Shayna Baszler like, let's go. Let's go for the pin. And oh, trying to stun Kansas LeRae out there. And right now Shayna with the shot right there. And Shayna getting the better. This is exactly the, what she wanted. She wanted to get Kansas LeRae in here. This is to prove that Kansas has no business in the championship picture. Hip toss. And Shayna Baszler right now wants to make a statement. Oh, look at this. Come on. And she's got her friends on the outside watching her back here. And Shayna Baszler. Now, Salina, Jasmine Duke, like, get in this. We're going to take care of business. We're going to drop this. And right now, Candace LeRae might not be ready for that takedown right there. And right now, Candace LeRae. She's feeling it. These ladies definitely took offense to the words Kansas said that hey the only reason you're here is because of uh because of Rhonda and Shayna Baszler out of the back again this is to get this is not to get the NXT Women's Championship this is to advance in the tournament and get in a match next week against the Glamazon Beth Phoenix and Natalia and to get with AJ and Caitlyn. Those matches would all be like that. Those matches are going to be a triple threat tag team matchup. That's how we're going to decide who will go on to the finals. And here comes Shayna. Went for the knees. And Kansas says, hey, let's go for the roll up. Roll up. Maybe a win like this could be enough. Maybe. And a kick out by Shayna Baszler. That's Kansas LeRae. It's trying to get back in this, and Baszler's like, what are you thinking? Just tiny. And look at, look at Kansas. I'm liking this. She's trying to do whatever she can to get into this. And she knows it's it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Code breaker! And a kick out there. And Shayna Baszler counters that. Now Baszler telling Candace Lorray, well, guess what? Watch this. <laughs> oh, that strength. Oh, wow. Baszler. And Baszler's looking at Dakota Kai like, get in my ring and watch. I'll break you. And Dakota Kai makes the save. And Baszler bringing Kai in here. Oh, my God. Shayna Baszler right now. Trying to make an example of Dakota Kai. And Kansas LeRae is asking for forgiveness here. Nope, she's saying I'm going to just do that. And Shayna. What is this? What is this? Kansas. Oh, got the leg. What's up? Oh, let's go. And right now, Kansas LeRae needs to get the tag into Dakota Kai. Whatever you can do to bring in Kai. What's what's Kansas doing? Kansas is just tossing her to the outside. Dakota's getting up. And look at Kansas! So, so oh! Oh! 
Replay. Place. Hit me with the replay. Kansas Luray is like, that's how I do stuff. Attack into Dakota Kai, and here we go. Let's see what Dakota Kai can do against Shayna Baszler. Oh, shot to the leg. Oh, wait, wait, Shayna. Shayna. No, 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 no. Candace, get in this. Oh, no. That's the lock. That's the lock that can put her down. And Dakota needs to get in this. Oh, no, get out of this, Dakota. Dakota Kai throwing elbows to the side of Shayna. Pinfall. And that's saved there by Jasmine Duke. And are they about to do what I think they're about to do? Roll up, Shayna! Kick out by Baszler. Wait, what's Dakota doing? Dakota running, boom! Telling Jasmine Duke, you wanna get in this? Come on. Dakota Kai looking to put the end of Baszler. Oh no, Baszler. Baszler's like, turn around that there. And Baszler. Oh look at that. Just wants to show you her strength again. Baszler. Is this crowd is ready for us to win? And Shane is like, finish this off. Do uh, the job and bring her out. And now Jasmine Duke. He's going to come in now. And Jasmine Duke right now has been the freshest of all. Shayna Baszler has been in the match the longest. And now she's coming in and going to destroy Dakota Kai. And Jasmine is ready and willing to end. Look at this power bomb. Wait, no, pile driver. Jasmine Duke. He's like, oh, come on, crowd. Get behind your little star. And Dakota Kai, though. Close line. Dakota's like, I gotta get the best of this. Like, I gotta do whatever I can. And Dakota Kai dropping Jasmine Duke and Shayna Baszler right now thinking to herself this girl and now Dakota Kai might be on the verge of ending the chances the ref Whoa! game over ref oh the ref didn't get to the the ref didn't get to it come on Jasmine Duke though And going for the shot. And nothing happened there. Neckbreaker. Are you selling Candace? You better put this one to bed. You want me to put this one to bed? How are we going to do this? Like, let's end this one. It's these ladies trying to get to the next round. Get her in. Dakota Kai going high risk. Oh, went for it, but that's needs by Duke. Big kick. And Jasmine Duke's like, you're not going to get in this one anymore. You're done. What is she doing? Oh, wow, this. What is she doing? What is she doing? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Jasmine Duke, don't do this. Oh, my God. Spinning on a Dakota guy. Just whirlwind. And Lorraine laid out. And Duke telling Baszler, put her out. Let her know who the hell we are.
God damn it. Oh, that's that. Look at that. That was wrong. And Kai is like, I'm done. And Baszler and Duke are victorious. What a uh, what an opening matchup for Evolution! Give these women the chance, and they will so they will do what they just did. going to advance to face they're going to face the Divas of Doom and the Chick Busters next week here comes Tamina who is looking for her moment to shine here but uh, I don't think Lacey Evans and Mickey James are gonna allow that. And she sees Lacey Evans coming in, Lacey Evans! Big kick! Evans catching the most right now. Wants to put Tamita Snooker down. Look at Lacey Evans choking the life out of Tamina. Cross face! Cross face on Tamina! Tamina's tapping, but it doesn't matter. You're on the outside. It didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. Because Lacey Evans. Look at Mickey James telling her what to do. Mickey James who's become the mentor of Lacey Evans. Wow, that uh, that just looks scary to me. And now the ref's like, I gotta start the match. And it is what it is. Clothesline by Lacey Evan. And right now, Tamina needs to get back in this one. I don't know how she's gonna do it, but Tamina Snuka. This is coming from the Monday Night Raw match. This is the matchup that Monday Night Raw has put on for us. And we're getting it right now. Big kick. Wow. And Lacey Evans right now. This is the aggressive side this is what Mickey James is trying to unleash she saw Mickey James pick up a win last week and wants to see it all over again and splash wow that's that's Tamina's move that splash is Tamina's family move and Tamina moves all the way to the side it's like I'm not taking that again another kick again and Lacey Evans says I'm going to show you how it's done but Tamina gets up and now Tamina. Oh no. Lacey's like, I've seen this. Come on. And look at that right there. Lacey Evans going back to the top again. And she wants Tamina to feel the wrath of the splash. He snuck a splash, man. That is just wrong. But Tamina kicks out. And Mickey's like, don't let up. Keep attacking her. And Lacey Evans. Squat! What's she doing? She's picking up Tamina. Oh, she's setting up the women's right! Lacey Evans does quick work of Tamina. Look at these splashes. That's Tamina's move right there. A woman's right. And Mickey's like, don't, you're not done with her. Mickey's like, you're not done with her. Keep assaulting her. And Tamina Snuka. The rest calling for help. But Lacey Evan is possessed right now. 
it's I don't think it's anything personal against Tamina Snuka. I think it's just a message that Lacey Evans wants to send that she's no longer that first that, that first matchup we saw against Mickey James. She has grown into Mickey James. Brody J and it's it's a nasty one. She won't call it that, but the first lady or whatever she wants to call herself now. The sa the sassy Southern Belle, Lacey Evans. Something to stop her. This Sunday, you will all see Captain Alicia Fox become Captain America when I win the United States Championship against Naomi. Now, Naomi, yes, she has defended that title separate several times in separate occasions. She has been victorious. But there was one, there's one thing that's different about it this time. She's not facing Bailey. If she was facing Bailey, then maybe, maybe she can win. Maybe she would win. But she's not facing Bailey. She's facing moi. She is facing Captain America. Just call me Steve Rogers because that's what I am. I am going to walk into Over the Limit. Nia Jax along my side. And we're going to do it big. And we're going to do it lavish. Now, I know that later tonight... As, the main, as one of the main matches tonight, there's going to be a crying of a new number one contender for the United States Championship, and Nia is one of those. And I got to say, if Nia wins, and when I win my championship, I will still defend my championship against Nia, and there will be no hard feelings because Nia knows that what's best for America is for Alicia Fox to run America. Yes, Atlantic City, your next great thing of America. It's right here. So protect your most cherished American me. Naomi, your time is ticking just tonight and tomorrow. And Sunday morning, you'll have my championship. But once I get my title, we're going to remove your name out of it. And the future is going to look foxy. Is Alicia Fox about to become Captain America? Is she about to beat Naomi at Over the Limit? And this is the last match of the first round. Dana Brooke and Mia Yim, the HBIC. That's right, go figure it out. I'm not repeating that because I am a PG company. We'll take on the Sky Pirates up next here on Friday Night Evolution. Mia Yim, an NXT star, getting her chance here. Teaming alongside Dana Brooke. They said, hey, you know, Dana and I, we know each other. You know, we had some, some time in NXT, and why not? Why not be a partner? Why not get a chance with her? And let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can become tag team champions. The beginning of the Sky Pirates, the pirate herself, Kyrie Sane.
And here comes our partner, Io Shirai. Io Shirai ready to do it big here with her partner, Kyrie, saying, Can these two ladies do exactly what they have to do? And it's win to advance. Both of them. Hey, they've, they've, they've got a background very similar. Both ladies know that, hey, they're not. They're not the favorites in this matchup. With Mia Yim and Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke a little bit. Yeah. A little bit more stronger, a little bit more power. Same with Mia Yim. They're gonna have to beat the 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 head bees in charge. With uh with a little bit of their speed. Let's here we go. This is the uh, third matchup here tonight, the last matchup in the first round of the tag team tournament to determine who will become the first WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. This is Kyrie Sane working on Io Shirai. I mean Kyrie Sane working on Dana Brooke. Sorry about that. But remember the winning team here will go on to take fi on Fire and Desire and the Iconics. Honestly I like that matchup better than taking on the Chick Busters and the Divas of Doom. But uh, let's see who will join those ladies in that triple threat six-man match. And Dana Brooke right now has found this. That this is not where she wants to have this type of match. Or she wants to take control of it. But Kyrie saying again, a woman who could be in the future of the NXT Women's Championship too. She is very talented. He's telling Mia Yim like, what's this Mia? And Mia's like, okay, I'm just gonna keep talking trash over here. And Kyrie's saying. The tag in to Io Shirai. Io coming in and watch out with Io. Io, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that I feel like she an equivalent it will be the six the master of the 619 Rey Mysterio look at the offense by Shirai and Dana Brooke right now needs to watch out who she's who she's in against and Dana turns that around Dana is tired of just being there and just being always there she's tired of it she said I've had my opportunities and they've been taken away here and there but I need to make the most of this one tonight. And Dana Brooke needs to get it together here. Tossing Shirai over. Make the tag into your partner. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I always got to say. DT by Yim. Neckbreaker. Suplex. Mia Yam coming at you. Yam is just. Demolishing right now, Io Shirai. And she's giving her team hype. Hope. Hope and hype. Best suplex. And Io drops the legs. Oh, wait, Mia. Mia Yim looking to close the bed. Looking to close on EO. That's a package pile driver. Countered. Oh, no. EO is like, let's go. There we go! There we go! 
There we go. And Io Shirai is doing whatever she can right now to get that tag to her partner, Kyrie. As Mia Yim came in, though, she came in and she dominated her matchup. She did what she had to do for her team. And she is now down because, hey, Io Shirai and Kyrie Sane are working as the unit they got to work as to defeat this, this squad. Drop down. Over it. Jump it. Wait, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Oh, Mia Yim. Mia. Diddy Tade. Selling Dana. This is your time. Back, back it up. Like back this one up. I need the win here. Like we're going to get the win here. And now the moment that Dana Brooks has been looking for. This is her chance to shine. Dana Brooke has to capitalize on this. This is Dana Brooks moment. Suplex. Kick out. Dana. Close line. Dana Brooke is just doing phenomenal. And Kyrie though. Kyrie. Oh, went for that turnaround slop and she slops the taste out of Dana Brooke's mouth. And Dana Brooke right now is eats this is this is your mo this was your chance, Dana, to prove everything you say. And now, wait a second, Dana. Wait a second. Dana. Dana! Got it! It's Dana about to do it on rope break saves, Kyrie Zane. And Kyrie does it one last chance right there. And Dana is reaching, wanting the tag, telling me I need to get the tag to you because I can't get this. And Kyrie's like, come on. Now here comes Mia Yim. Drop kick. And Yim. Mia might just have done what she needs to do here. Oh, this could be good. Look at the submission here. Kyrie saying, oh, Kyrie could be on the verge of losing this. This is the last match. This is the last chance anybody gets to make it to the next round. And they're fighting for everything. The opportunity, what it means to be named the first ever champs. Kyrie saying, the insane elbow. Oh, man, Yam yeah, got out the way. Yim, out the way. Oh, he defeat. Eight defeat. And getting her up again. But Kyrie says, I gotta go. Clint. He says, I got to go for the insane elbow one more time. And again, again. He says, I'm up. Close line. Close line. And Kyrie gets out of that one. Kyrie is telling Mia, I got to. Slaps her across the face. Eo is in. Eo is like, come on. He said, come on. Eo Sarai, super kick, wrap it around, one, two, and Dana makes the save. Suplex. Mia Yim, got by Sarai. Close line. Where's EO going? EO trying to do whatever she can. Drops the knees. 
Insane, come on, you come on, Kyrie. Get up there. Sorry, get up there. You gotta get this insane elbow. Get us out of there. Get us the win. Insane elbow! And Dana trying to make the save. Dana too late. And the Sky Pirates are moving on. The Sky Pirates celebrate, and are they the new favorites? Maria Canellas. I wonder what she's got to say. Well, well, well. If it isn't a surprise, I'm not in the main event. I'm not featured again. It's just like something like this company has something against us, against the Canellas. See, it's like they don't want us to shine, don't want us to... To, to show what we can truly do. It's like they're afraid of making money. See, I'm on Monday Night Raw, and it's great. You know, I've had my match. I've had a pay-per-view matchup since I've been back, and I've been here and there. But there's one thing I want. Well, actually, two things I want right now. I want championships and the main event spotlight. And me and Zelina... We're working on becoming the best tag team ever. And I'm also looking for the Intercontinental Championship. Holy hell, wait a second. It, it, oh my god, it can't be Ronda. Ronda's first appearance here on Evolution. The rowdy one is here. Chill out, Maria. If I wanted to break your arm, I would be doing that just right now. But I actually came out here because I fought your tag team partner on Monday Night Raw. I beat her, and I qualified for a Money in the Bank spot. And now I'm out here to you want to you know to give you a challenge since you want to talk. Ronda, 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 Ronda. The only reason you beat my my partner Zelina Vega was timing. See, Zelina. She's been around. She's actually had matches, and she's had matches, and there's tape to study. On you, you cheated and haven't really given Zelina much time to see your matches. You've been particular about your matches. I can tell you that's not by choice. See, if I had the chance, I'd be having a match every night. There's a chance for me to come out here and fight. And you know what I'm about to do right now? I'm about to challenge you to a match. See, next week, I know we don't want to have the main event spotlight. And I know you want the main event spotlight so badly. And I want to embarrass you in the main event spotlight. So I challenge you, two weeks from now. No, 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 that's that's not fair. See, I don't... Rhonda, Rhonda, it's not fair to me. It's not fair to you because I'll probably end your winning streak and that's it. It's not fair. But I don't, I don't see why you would be scared if, if you're gonna beat me why would you be afraid of fighting me in the ring see if you can beat me I'll give you something I'll give you my spot and money in the bank yeah that's that's what I will do for you if you can beat me two weeks from now I'll give you my spot and money in the bank 
But you won't because I know I can beat you. I I don't I don't want to take what's yours. I really don't. I don't want you to cry and then go back to to where you came from because you know what happens when you lose. You cry and you lose and you run away because you can't handle losses. And I don't want to be the reason for that pain that you're going to receive two weeks from now. So your challenge, I'm not accepting it. See, I knew you would do that. I knew you would say something like that because you're all talk and you can't back up what you talk. So that's why I actually asked someone who has power to do something. Lita has actually said, yeah, we're going to have a match. So our commissioner has said that's going to happen two weeks from now. Rhonda, come on. I'll see you in two weeks' time. I'm going to make sure you realize you're not all you're cracked up to be. You're not all, all, you're, not all you're cracked up to say that you are. That you are going to have your arm broken by Ronda Rousey. And you'll join Zelina Vega in the back. Resting your arms and trying to fix them. Ronda Rousey, Maria Canellas, two weeks' time. Maria wanted to come out here and said she never gets a main event spotlight, never gets a big match. You got it. You got Ronda Rousey. And you got her money in the bank spotlight. Spot two in it. So this next matchup, it's going to figure out, we're going to figure out after Alicia Fox and Naomi, who will be the next in line to get a Women's United States Championship matchup in this fatal four-way. Nia Jax, Natalia, Nikki Cross, and Mandy Rose. Smackdown Live is the main event for us here on Evolution. Natalia trying to get more championship ch chances next week. It's going to be in a big matchup next week and uh, trying to get another chance maybe at the United States Championship, a title she's never held. This is one of the SmackDown's uh, newest call-ups, and I'm very excited about Nikki Cross coming to SmackDown Live.
I I don't think the SmackDown Live roster is ready for Nikki Cross and the type of offense, the type of energy she brings. Nikki Cross, hey, this would be a big chance for her if she's able to win this matchup. Speaking of big chances, this is another woman who's had the opportunity at becoming a tag team champion. But tonight couldn't do her thing solo thing here. Mandy Rose. Let's go. Let's see what these ladies bring into this. Naya, Natalia, Nikki, and Mandy. And Nikki goes after Naya. I like that, but the, not the smart idea. As uh, Mandy and Natty going at it over there in that corner. Again, this woman, whoever wins this, will get a chance at the United States Championship. But look at Naya just tossing Nikki Cross across the ring. And Naya is doing exactly what she said she would do. And let's dominate. Ooh. Right on Natalia, working on the outside with Mandy and Naya. Oh, no, Nikki, though. Nikki, I love this about Nikki Crush. She fights back. She goes after it, and she attacks. Big kick. Nikki Cross now. Now working with Natalia. Now Mandy Rose is stuck with Nia Jax. And that's not good for Mandy. Oh, Nia just, oh, just tosses Mandy like nothing. Nikki Cross getting rid of Natalia. But look at Mandy fighting into this. Nah, Mandy though in trouble. Boom. Suplex by Nikki. Oh, pinfall. Nia trying to get the win. Shots to the back. What's this? What's this? Wait a second. Woo! Nikki Cross. I like this. And look at this right now. Nikki Cross right now has, has turned this into her moment right now. But Mandy Rose is like, no, no, no. This is my moment. And Nikki Cross and Mandy Rose. And whoa, <laughs> Nikki went for the leg. Of Naya and she got her, but now Nikki Cross, I am telling you, this is impressive. She is just coming out of here with a mission, but Naya says, ah, that mission's gonna stop real soon. Shoo, oh my god. Oh my god, Gorilla Press! That could stop her. Wait a second. Naya. Power slam! Over the head power slam. Oh, Natalia back up. Natalia knocks down one. Knock down Nikki. But Maddie coming after Natty. And Matt. Oh, leg drop by, by Naya onto to Nikki. She might have just killed her. Oh, oh, look at that arm right there. Naya stops the submission. And Naya. Oh, picking up Mandy. Hold on. Oh, somehow and drop. Somehow and drop. Pin for one. Natalia makes the save. Oh, wait a second. Naya. Backbreaker. Is Naya Jax about to win this? Lag. Worked on. Nikki Cross working on Mandy Rose. 
while Natalia about to meet about to meet Nia Jax pinfall now by Nia over Natty kick out by Natty though and look at Nia she's clearing the field but man he's like I'm gonna fight I'm gonna do what I gotta do this is my moment Working on the arm. Mandy better get it together here. Stop taunting. You can do this. This is your moment. Get the chance. Beat Nia Jax. What is this? Oh, it could be enough. And now Natalia. The focus of attack against uh, for Mandy Rose. Nikki Cross. Got Nia. Neckbreaker. Twist the neckbreaker there. And neck Nikki. Nikki. Play with Nikki. Look at Nikki picking up Naya. Twist. Game. Nikki Cross. Two on a kick out by Naya. With Mandy Rose behind Nikki. Big kick. Nikki Cross in trouble though as Mandy with that kick to the back. Pinfall. Mandy trying to get the better of Naya. Not going to happen there. My Natty by nature. I oh, know. Wait, Mandy. What did Mandy just do? And a kick out by Natty. Nikki Cross right behind Mandy, and this is it. Wait, take down by Mandy on Nikki Cross. Mandy Rose is calling up whoever gets up next. She's looking to end this. Mandy Rose. Mandy. Mandy. Pinfall! Natalia saves it. Now Natalia's got Nikki Cross. Wait a second, look at the power of Natty. Toss over. Jawbreaker. Light drop. And look at Mandy on the outside getting destroyed. Elbow. Ball dog by Natty. These ladies battling for the chance to become a number one contender for the United States Championship. And right now, Mandy's in trouble. Nia Jax smacks her. And wait, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki's got Natty. Nikki Cross trying to get this. Sees that Nia is outside, too busy with Mandy. And Nia is not going to make it. And Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross is victorious. She is. She's in line to face the United States champion. Nia Jax couldn't do it. And Nikki Cross is victorious. <laughs> Alicia Fox and Naomi better watch out because this woman is waiting in line for their championship. Thank you for watching Friday Night Evolution.